Once long ago, in the wild backwoods of a country named Greece, a little baby girl, Diana, was traveling by horseback to the city of Athens with her mother and father. It was dangerous to travel through the rough, lonely country. Bands of robbers hid there. Even now, dark, cruel eyes watched little Diana and her parents as they went slowly on their way. Ahead of them was a clearing. Here, the bandits planned to seize Diana and her family and hold them for ransom. Behind the rocks and trees that surrounded the clearing, the robbers hid themselves. Just as Diana's father led the horses out of the forest, the bandits sprung out, screaming and waving their swords. Diana's father fought back fiercely, but there were too many for him. The bandits hurried to tie him to his horse. Suddenly, one robber shouted, A signal! A signal from the lookout! Hunters are coming! Afraid of the brave hunters, the bandits rushed away with their captives. But in their haste, they left little Diana behind. Only a few minutes passed, then the hunters broke into the clearing, but they were too late. The bandits had escaped. The hunters did not know what had happened to Diana's parents. They asked her where she came from. She was only a baby and she couldn't tell them. Not knowing what else to do, they took the little girl home with them to raise as their own child. As Diana grew into a young girl, she learned to be a huntress. Among all the children, only her best friend, a handsome boy named Melanion, could ride as well, shoot as straight, or run as fast as Diana. She was so happy staying with the hunters and her good friend Melanion, she almost forgot she had a mother and father of her own. Diana's mother and father were held captives for many years. Finally, they escaped. In all that time, they never gave up hope that they would find their daughter. One day, a soldier who had been hunting in the back country came to Diana's parents and told them he had seen a beautiful young girl. Soon, Diana's happy parents found her, and they all decided she would go back to the city with them. Diana tried not to cry when she had to leave. She called back to Melanion, when we are grown up, I will marry you. And she rode away. In Athens, Diana went to school and grew up to be a beautiful young lady. But she never forgot her happy years in the country. She never forgot how to ride, to run, and to shoot. And she never forgot her promise to Melanion. Many young men wished to marry Diana. Her parents thought a girl of her age should take a husband. It had been many years since she had seen Melanion, so Diana, to please her mother and father, promised to marry the first young man who could outrun her in a race. Many tried, but no one could run as fast as Diana. The people of Athens came by the hundreds to watch the races. Diana was their favorite. They cheered and laughed as she sprinted far ahead of her closest rivals. The onlookers tossed presents to her. And even during the race, Diana could pick up a gift and keep running fast enough to win easily. One day, a handsome soldier stepped close to her and said, Diana, will you run against me? Diana's heart beat faster. It was Melanion. She smiled, for she remembered that as children, only Melanion could run faster than she. But her heart sank when she saw the large scar of a battle wound on his leg. They prepared to race. 
Knowing how she hoped Melanion would win, Diana's father gave the young soldier three golden apples and whispered something in his ear. At the line, a voice called, Go! Melanion sprang into the lead. Diana's friends cheered her on. She had to try as hard as she could. Diana began to gain. Out in front of her, he tossed a golden apple. She scooped it up. Melanion held his lead. Diana began to gain. Again, Melanion threw out a golden apple. She swerved to pick it up. The crowd cheered, but Melanion was still in front. Now the finish line was in sight. Diana was gaining. Melanion dropped the last apple. Diana reached down. The third apple was much heavier. For a split second, she slowed, then regained her speed. Just as she was about to catch him, Melanion crossed the finish line ahead of her. Though she had lost the race, all of Diana's friends were happy because she married her childhood sweetheart and lived happily ever after.